Paul Harris here, and I'm going to demonstrate uh, making your own Marsden ball or your hanging ball. Now we buy these uh, pinky red rubber balls. You can buy them by the dozen. You can buy them by the gross. That's a dozen dozen or 144. Uh, but you can buy these. Uh, I prefer the soft sponge rubber uh, type of ball. Um, what you need are uh, a supply of those balls. You need the um, cord and uh, we'll have inf information on the cord specifically on the reinventingoptometry.com site. Um, I find this cord works better, it doesn't fray, uh, it's easier to thread through and that type of thing. You'll need some small uh, beads. Um, these are wonderful beads that you can get in a large bag from a craft shop. A pair of scissors and this is really the key ingredient. This is a tool from a baseball glove repair kit and uh, I think this is really the part that makes this work. So the first step is you're going to push this through the center of the ball uh, and I usually will uh, put whatever writing is already on the ball uh, at the bottom so that we can use the other spaces to put uh, letters, numbers, or any other uh, targets on it. So you're just going to push this straight through the ball. You need a little bit of force, he says, and out it comes. Usually pull this little piece. So now I'm going to thread the cord through um, the little um, eye of the tool here. And now I'm ready to pull the cord directly through the ball. This is a, a very safe way to do this, um, to make the ball. So I pull that through, and uh, now I have the string going completely through the ball. What I will do is thread that into uh, one of the little beads. The idea of the bead is that will help keep it from pulling through the ball. And I'll tie uh, some of my Boy Scout training, I'll do a, a double half hitch uh, on through, pull that nice and tight, pull that up through the ball, or not through the ball, but so that the uh, bead is sitting right there, and I can cut off most of this uh, end. And then uh, what I will do from the cord, I typically will pull out one, two, three, and we'll cut that off. That's usually enough uh, for me for the Marsden balls that I send home. So uh, I'll wind it around my hand. Uh, I always love the fun little part at the end. Pull that in. And if you want to decorate it, that's perfectly fine, but uh, we just bring that right around the center. And that's really ready for uh, dispensing, home activities, and that type of thing. For in-office, you may need a lot more cord if you're going to be going up, around, and then down to a boat cleat. Uh, but that's how to make one of these. All right, this one I'm going to make. Uh, we're going to make a second one here. And I'm going to do more of a close-up on the ball uh, and uh, hand so you can see. So again, this is the baseball glove repair kit tool. Uh, you can take this, start here, and push it through. You do need a little force. That one came straight through very nicely. Usually we'll pull this off here. Uh, take the end of your cord, thread it through the uh, eye of the tool. Just pull a little bit through and then you can pull that through the ball itself and out it comes and now I have the string completely through the ball. On the end I pulled through I'm going to place one of these small uh, craft beads on the string and again I'm going to tie a double half hitch. So I come around, pull that through, do the same thing one more time, 
and uh, uh, the pressure of it being pulled tight up against the ball will hold that in place. Nice and tight and then we pull it so it's snug up against the ball. I can cut off the uh, excess and that's smartly done exactly what we're looking for. You can use a uh, marker to um, put letters, numbers, or whatever kinds of targets you like uh, on the ball itself. And again, at this point, I'll take an appropriate length of the cord, cut it, wrap it up, so that uh, you have one ready to uh, hand out to your patients.